Yes, let's talk about the most controversial, talked about, debated about, hated or disliked, liked or loved singer of the year, Gunilla Persson. And in case you don't know who, she, who this is, this is a former, she's still gonna go with the Hollywood wives. I mean, you know the real housewives of Atlanta, Beverly Hills, and New York, and Yala Yala, and Potomac, you have so many. We had in Sweden for almost 15 years, or was it, how long did the show go? The show was over 10 years, it has to be over 10 years, and uh, this woman has been, uh, gonna say in some, in many people's mind, a housewife, Sweden, Sweden's, Swedish Hollywood wives icon. Um, she was on the show from from season four to season thirteen, so she was a pretty big, big, pretty big name on the show. Anyway, the fact that this woman is gonna be on the show, I can say, I can guarantee this is gonna be this semifinal or gonna tie or had has the biggest ratings this year of Melfest. This episode is this, and it is because of her. This woman is so controversial if you ask people. I mean, I have, have asked co-workers it, what it's all about, the fact she's gonna be in the show, and let me just say that well, they were not pleased. They was like, I'm gonna say in the mild version, they all were, why? So let's see, Gnilla Persian, I would, I won't shake La 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 gnilla. So, and they, I think they described this song on the newspaper like an old German schlager, oompa loompa something sound. I was like, I have no idea what to expect. So, let's see, gnilla. Uh, gnilla, how much auto tune did you use? Because this is not how you sound live. We have, those of us have watched Sweden Housewives. Uh, no, she has sang on that show some uh, several times, you know, uh, snippets here and there. This is not her voice. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, sure, this was a very throwback, you know, it was a very 70s. I felt I was watching Eurovision back in the days with, you know, West German, East German, whoever is gonna sing this song. This was a very throwback song that like Germany would have done in like the 80s or something. It feels like that. I don't know. The thing is that I don't expect this song to do well, but I expect this song. This can be in the finals because she's sh because of who she is, and uh, I mean the song is catchy. The song is catchy. This is a very old throwback entry. You know, this is a very throwback song, but it is a very campy song also. In an, in another bad way, it's very catchy, but, I feel, but I'm afraid that because many people don't like her, she's not gonna get, get This is how it's gonna end. This woman is either gonna win the televotes, or be the first finalist, or the second one, or she's gonna come in dead last in this semifinal because of how people think about her. That's how it's gonna end. She's either gonna finish first, or as the second finalist, or last because it's gonna be either way because many people's opinion about her is not good and uh, long story short uh, this woman I mean this woman feel is in love with the press she loves the attention she loves the spotlight we all know that she loves the spotlight she loves the press and she has been since then I gonna say this since the announcement she's gonna be in Melfast she has been in the press so much. I mean, I mean, basically every day is an article about this woman. She has been in the press for so much, and it's not about the best things. She has been doing a lawsuit, a lawsuit against an online publications because 
years ago they printed an article about her she didn't like that one she so she sued them uh, she's i think she's going up against a lawsuit against a tv show host that had her on as a guest and uh, there was something on that program a sketch a skit or something that he did so she might lawsuit him and then she has been in the press for so many week days because i mean she apparently was not feeling well. This woman lives in LA. She lives in LA. She didn't feel very well. She apparently fainted because she did, was dizzy and spent the days in the hospital. So this woman has been in so much in this press for so long. So I was like, oh god. I can't wait for this Melfast season to be over. So we don't need to talk so much about this woman. But anyway. I mean, she is the, I hate to say it, daughter may be Eurovision fans, but this is the press favorite because they know she is the clickbait. She is like Sheree Whitfield, Sheree Whitfield said on Real, our Real House of Atlanta. I know, I'm a good clickbait. This one is that. But anyway, again, how I, what I felt about this song, this song will either go to the finals or finish, finish last. This, it is either way, and uh, well, I gonna hate to say it, it is very catchy, but the thing that was struck me the most was like, how much auto-tune did you use on her? Because if you have watched, like I said, Swedish Hollywood Wives, and when she sings, this is not her voice, so I was like, how much auto-tune did she use? But anyway, she's gonna have to perform this one song live, so it all, it all will show them. Anyway, Gunilla, well, welcome to Melfest. 